It's me, Mario. What is up, my friends? And welcome back to Uncensored, the podcast where the truth comes from the balls. That's how we do it here. That's and right. guys, is. today's guest, he is an absolute sweetheart. He's a comedian. He's been on uh, Dr. Phil. He's been on Jimmy Kim Alive. Phil. He is Jewish. And I like to preface it by that, by saying that. And we love him. Okay. So give yeah, it up for Menachem Silverstein. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Can I applaud myself or Wait, is that obnoxious? You, like, you can, you can. Wait, did I, did, I, did I nail it? You nailed the name. <laughs> but I like that you started off saying that I'm sweet. Like people see my face and they're like, and you're like, no, 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 he's sweet. He's, he's a no, nice you're guy. You're a sweetheart. <laughs> you just are. Like, you know, and I'm not just saying this because it's always this weird dynamic. You know, I'm German, you're Jewish. First of all, thanks for doing the podcast. But I didn't want to start by saying that you were Jewish because that's, I felt like I want to, you know, front load it with some other stuff that's, because you are you a friend of mine, these- but you are not just my Jewish friend. You are a friend first. And you're also Jewish. Uh, you see how fucking weird I get <laughs> on the yeah. podcast when I'm He's a little Jewish nervous, people? I think. <clears throat> yeah. Did you say wanna, you love Jewish, Jews one more time? I, I love like Jewish people nice? okay, cool. so much. No, I've, listen, I have so many Jewish friends. I have a list. I have so many you Jewish friends. You have a list. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm thinking Please, of them. Yeah. <laughs> Who are they? Yeah. So, wait, you talked about this just uh, briefly. We touched on it. You read from the Torah. I read from the Torah. But you are a rabbi, too. Yeah, technically, so you are, yes. You are... We have wow. the most Jewish guy, guy ever, yeah. But you don't speak <laughs> Hebrew. My Hebrew is ter- my actual like speaking Hebrew is terrible. So, so the Torah is like biblical Hebrew. Yeah, it's like Latin versus English. So English oh, is I from didn't know Latin. That. Yeah, so like kind of modern day Ivrit is based on the Torah, but it's very different. Because I felt so stupid, I was gonna I culturally appropriate a little bit. Like you send me a text and you said Danke. In German, so I replied, you're welcome. I typed it in Google and I typed in the Hebrew <laughs> version of that. And I'm like, what did he say? What and did he then, say? <laughs> they said Bavakasha. Like that, I know. Like, and that I felt I know. so stupid after because then I watched your Instagram where you talked about how you don't speak Hebrew. So then I felt like an absolute stupid German. I love that you did the research after. I know, out your podcast. I know, I know. Um, yeah. No, but I'll tell you what's even, what's even funnier and which will make you sound stupider. And I, I thought, fantastic, dude, because that's what <laughs> we do, right? Is the goal is to, like, like, please go ahead. <laughs> so I didn't mean to say Danka. I thought maybe you mix it up. I wrote D A N K, which is Dank. Oh, Dank, like Dank, like that's cool. I don't know that. I'm too Damn. German for that. See, I Jeff thought knows you Dank. Speak. You know yeah. Dank. Like people don't use it anymore, but that used to be a thing. Was like, yo, that's Dank. Oh, I don't like Dank weed. Dank weed. Dank yeah. Weed. So it came from. It's a drug. Well, most cool things are like drug terms. If you think about it. Okay. Like that's yeah. dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's oh, dope. You're right. It's dope. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So I, I meant to say <laughs> dang. Like, and I yeah. love how you're like, you just assumed. <laughs> God damn. The yeah, Jew I'm, would be German. I just you. think that German is just the me out. Yeah, you, you saw that. You were like, oh, he's sweet. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, I, I like just that. think everything revolves around us. You know, that's what I assume. But you are, you do like German things. I love German things. You love Rammstein? I love, it's Rammstein. What is it? Is it Remstein? That's how you I say it, it right? as a Jewish no, person? I, I don't know. <laughs> We'd probably say like Remstein. Okay. To make German, it it's Jewish. Rammstein. 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 Rammstein, yeah, yeah. With Ram? No, you, that sounded oh. so Jewish. I was going to say, Jewish like, Jewish an extra it sounded like, it sounded like a Ram. <laughs> no, um, Ram, Rammstein, yeah. So I got to ask you, how does it, how do you feel? Have you seen Rammstein's music video? Deutschland? Yeah. No. No? My favorite one was uh, Hayfish. High fish, high fish, high fish. The shark, the shark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. here's the thing, man, and, and uh, it's interesting to talk about this because Rammstein has been criticized a lot by Germans for being super edgy. In the, okay. music, video, in the music video Deutschland, which basically tells the history of Germany, they had some very, it, it talks about the dark history of Germany as well. From the Middle Ages to what the Holocaust. History? Listen, the what? I don't know if you're a history dark? buff or not, but. <laughs> well, now, as you're saying that, I can kind of see you're half a swastika. <laughs> I don't know what it's supposed to be, but I feel like God either damn. you have the other half somewhere else. You know what? So, or you're pretty funny pretty somewhere close. else. Like, where is the other half? Jeff has the other half. Jeff has the other half. <laughs> Jeff, butt, do you want to pull you know? up your slave? We can combine. Yeah. <laughs> so it turns into swastika. No, uh, this, is, this is so fucked up, man. I, I didn't even think of this. This is actually Korean. It's a, it's a Korean swastika. It's a Korean swastika. <laughs> they had the, it they mean Japanese swastika. swastika I don't know the Korean Korean. <laughs> <laughs> no, it means, it means carrot in Korean. It means carrot? Carrot. I love carrots. Okay. It's my favorite vegetable. It's so you're like, vegetable. I love vegetable. I love carrot so much, even though this looks like half a swastika. Listen, dude. I'm willing to thing. risk it all. <laughs> I'll be fully honest with you for a second. When I was in Korea, I was modeling, which models are dumb. We all know that. So I wasn't as aware 
of all of that. And also, as a German, we have so much guilt and so much awareness around the Holocaust. But the thing is, we don't have any contact with Jewish people. So nobody really... On purpose. Um, no, because there are not, no Jewish people in Germany for what, obvious what reasons. I don't know. <laughs> no, what happened to <laughs> Listen, I don't blame them, but it's just, it's, it's this weird thing. So I sometimes was, I don't know, I didn't think of that. It, it was truly just a Korean thing. And I was in Korea mode. I was not in Germany mode. In Germany, for sure, I would have like paid more attention to this. But um, yeah. Uh, what I kind of I I like it. I kind of want to get do the other about half. It. <laughs> you get and the I'll other just half. be like, no, 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 it's not a half a swastika. And then when we're together, it's like, ta-da. Damn. Like, what would you do? H- hypothetical scenario. A dude walks down the street like yeah. American History X with a swastika tattoo. What do you do? Me? Yeah. You. I run. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? I'm not, yeah. I'm kidding. Like, I don't, it depends. If the guy looks dangerous, I'll yeah. like just turn around. Like, I don't yeah. want to get into a confrontation <laughs> unless I have to. Guy walked over to me and he was like, dumb Jew. Yeah. Then I'd be like, I have model friends. And then I'd be like, <laughs> like Kaka, hey, and you guys just show up. Like, <laughs> <take them>. Yeah. <laughs> just we would pure, protect. We got you. Like a, for real. I got neighbor you. models are here. Yeah, yeah. I don't know something. I'm not a good fighter though. I'm not, I'm not a good fighter. No. no, but I feel like you guys are tall enough and ripped enough to yeah. scare someone away. Maybe. Maybe. Especially Maybe. compared to me. That would be kind of a random scene nowadays to find a guy from American History X with just a huge swatch. You know, it is no, it's it's not very common. But it, it's more likely for this to happen in America than Germany. And it's pr- yeah. so in Germany right now, and that's what I keep telling people, we have less Nazis now than in America because we exported them all, you know, after the war. <laughs> just sent them to Argentina <laughs> just where they belong. Argentina, exactly. yeah. <laughs> no, it is. Um, we, there's so much awareness around it. So I feel like, they, I mean, of course there are and there always unfortunately will be racism. But on a large scale, you would assume, of course, Germany has this dark history. But it's almost like the reverse because we have so much guilt and so much education around it. And our par- the parties were banned in the parliament, which kind of goes, some people say goes against free speech. Right. But parties that were very right wing were actually banned. There was a party called the NPD, which was like, a, you know, not neo-Nazi party, but definitely very right wing. They were banned. Which and also sent to Argentina. And also sent to Argentina, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm never going to Argentina, but I'll go to Germany now. <laughs> No, but I think that it, it's important. Like, definitely in America, there is a strong lack of, like, Holocaust education. And just, yeah. like, I know we want to go back to the Remstein thing. Sure, yeah, we'll, we'll go back, yeah. No, but to me, there's also, like, anti-Semitism, like, hate against Jews specifically, is a very hard hate to understand. Because it's this weird thing where you punch up versus you punch down. Mm, so let's say in a place true, like yeah. Germany, because there was the Holocaust, it's an easier way to teach it. It's like, hey... If you hate Jews, this is what could happen. Let's make sure it doesn't happen again. Versus in America, people, first off, don't like believe that it happened or don't know that it happened. Oh, for real? And also, yeah, with the Holocaust, there's like, again, if you look at America as a whole, a lot of people don't know about the Holocaust or don't really understand it. That is so wild as a European because that's all we learn about. It's all you talk about. All we talk about. No, I'm not joking. (laughs) Dude, we're so obsessed. I got this actually to remind myself. (laughs) Of all (laughs) the and the Holocaust. (laughs) That's wild. No. Because yeah. no, again, it's like yeah. people look at Jews as like very successful, yeah. influential people. Yeah. So, and in the world that we live in right now, it's like if you're successful and influential, then like suck it up. Mm. Somebody was mean to you, suck it yeah. up. Like yeah. you don't deserve to, you know, like just that go back sense. to your mansion and cry. Cry in your Bentley. Like what are you talking about? Cry in your go Bentley. Go control That's the weather. True. Control the weather. <laughs> it does make me run feel better Hollywood, when I control the weather. Right? Yeah, just yeah. control the weather a little bit. <laughs> You're and just I'm like, like oh, oh. I feel so good. <laughs> That's wild. Versus man. again, like yeah. other forms of racism, like you know, like again, racism against black people is punching down. Mm-hmm. They're lesser. They're other. Yeah, but they're also physically stronger. But you mean in society with? Yeah, Daniel because Tosh had an amazing joke about that. Yeah, where he's I like, how did white? That. He has a, this. Basically, the joke is, how could white people ever enslave black people? Like. They know that they can beat us up, right? Yeah, 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 if they ran away, oh, we yeah. could never catch them. Yeah. Like, he has this great yeah. like thing where it's like real, like how did that? Yeah, Jews yeah. getting enslaved in Egypt, I understand. Yeah, <laughs> we didn't try to fight back. I get it. We're yeah. like, we'll stay. That's why we'll do your taxes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, but I wonder if that's. Do you think that's going to change? Because I think now it's it's changing a lot. Like if I look at if you look at, I mean, maybe it's just on a, on a very celebrated scale in terms of pro athletes and stuff like that. But I, I feel like. It, it might change where people also consider black people not. At some point, hopefully we get to the point where it's, it's harder to justify ra- racism because black people 
are on top. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, again, it, it's easier. Racism is easier. It's people like othering. Yeah. So we like othering. Just people, othering, yeah, yeah. Which is not good. Yeah. But it's easier to other someone who looks different. Mm-hmm. You can other black people. Yeah. You can other Asian people. Yeah, yeah. You can other Muslim people. You can yeah. other Hispanic people. Like, And then that's why like those racisms are a little bit more tangible and understandable. Yeah. Jews are, well, a lot of Jews are white passing. So therefore- we aren't others because that's we're like the successful white people. Oh, yeah. the successful white people are complaining. But do you consider yourself a white person? No, you white. No, you're not white. Because no, you talked again. about this new standup, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I, I'm saying like I don't consider myself white in the sense that like Hitler was able to round us all up. Like yeah. we weren't white then. Yeah. Like look at like look at me and look at Jeff. Who's the white? Like you know what I'm saying? You. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, I was, exactly. It's like. How about now? <laughs> like, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm saying it's, it's definitely a weird thing. But yeah, there are a lot of like, um, you know, Sephardic Jews, like Jews originally were Middle Eastern looking and then just yeah. kind of like from the diaspora, not allowed to live in Israel, not allowed to live in the Middle East and kind of like forced out into like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, Eastern European places. There was then, you know, a mix of just natural evolution, rape, intermarriage. Rape, now we're a lot of rape, <laughs> yeah. some intermarriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know. Wild. Okay. And, and how do you, and I'm just going to ask you this as a German, how is your education as a Jewish person about Germany? And how do you feel? What, is, what are you taught about Germans? And would your family approve of you being on this podcast right now? These are so, all questions. Yeah, all questions. <laughs> First off, as an American, I would say our education is terrible because yeah. Americans aren't educated. Uh, just in general, terrible. Not towards just in just general. Like, in general, our education yeah. is terrible, especially especially anything foreign. I yeah. feel like most Americans so are true, like, yeah. there's America. Yeah. And there's kind of something outside yeah. of America, maybe. Yeah, it's true. Like we don't realize like like there's other countries. There's like right. Like we don't realize how big other countries are. Like how many, you know. <laughs> India, how many people are in India? Like yeah, we yeah. don't, like Americans don't fathom that. We're very mm -hmm. like self-centered people. Um, but no, I have like, now I have good feelings towards Germans. <laughs> this is it bad that I'm laughing when I'm saying that? Now, it took a while. Since now. you met me. Yeah. Just yeah. since I you met you. Me. Now <laughs> I like the Germans. <laughs> kind of. Guys, all the Germans, I turned it around for us. <laughs> we, we, we made it. Yeah. Yeah. Are we rolling by the way? Okay. I just want to make sure. Because this happened yeah. fucking last time, I'm not going to lie. We did, a, we did a video with two porn stars and... Um, very similar podcast, and now we, we, we weren't rolling, you know, we missed just one porn star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I'm going to tell you a story right now. I had, um, <laughs> I had dinner with uh, one of my many Jewish friends, okay? And <laughs> one of his aunts was visiting from, I think she's from, from, from the East Coast somewhere. You assume she was the, from the East Coast because she's Jewish? No, Continue. I just, I, she talked to me about so how she was bitch. visiting from the East Coast because it was cold. I don't know if it was, if it was uh, Baltimore. I think it was Baltimore. And I was chopping onions with her in the kitchen. <clears throat> and we started talking. And I told her that I was from Germany. So I asked her, I was like, hey, have you ever been to Germany? Just trying to make some small talk. No joke. This Jewish lady looks at me and she goes, no, I haven't. Because I have not been able to forgive the Germans for what they did. <laughs> and bro, I was, I'm having, I was breaking down, you know? Like, what am I supposed to say? You know what I mean? I was like, well... This is one way to bring a Thanksgiving party down. You know? <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do? But now, can uh, I ask an honest question? Yeah. Were you crying out of emotion or from the onions? <laughs> like right now, you're tearing up. So I guess I it was is crying real. out of awkward because I was truly, I was, my brain was exploding in that moment. It was like years of guilt. And then I was trying to make small talk, connecting with her. And then she hits me with the fucking realist, <laughs> with the realest fucking moment. And I was like, it's so strange. Because I personally didn't do anything, but I feel like I owe her so much, you know? So I, I felt, I found myself in this weird scenario where I was like, what am I supposed to do? Should I, you know, <laughs> should I give out an official apology on behalf of all Germans? <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> but it, it is, <laughs> like, it's also a weird position to put me in in that moment, you know? It was just strange. So I wonder if that's a sentiment that, you know, in your family or in general that um, is shared amongst a lot of Jewish people. Um, and, and, and what's, <laughs> what's uh, an adequate response that I should have given her in that moment? So it's funny that you say that because like I kind of completely forgot about this, but I was raised to not buy German cars. Okay. Like see, a lot of, my, yeah, see. My family with Japanese cars. Interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Wait, but 
That's wait, also wait, fucked up. Ja- <laughs> the question is Japanese cars because of World War II or Japanese cars because they were taking over American manufacturing? World War II. World War II? Yeah. Because I was going to say- But my- German cars, you're fine. You're like, the Germans are too nice. The cars are too nice. We can't, we can't boycott them all. Here's a breaking like, point. I drive moment. a Japanese car. <laughs> brief moment. Brief yeah. moment. I feel yeah. access. But listen, the, the thing is, but, uh, with your family, I was thinking, cause your family's not Jewish, right? So I was thinking it came more from like an American thing. No, we got to support the American industry. We got to buy Ford only, General Motors. You know, I thought that was That's maybe the motivation. Too, yeah. but-, but he said Japanese cars. So, okay, yeah. Interesting. So it's yeah. truly because you don't want to support the Germans? My dad didn't want to support the Japanese at the time. Oh, because I thought of, I thought because of said, like Pearl Harbor. Because of Pearl Harbor, right? Of course, no. Now yeah. it makes sense. Okay, yeah. Well, they had some really. I thought he bad, wanted like, prizoners of war. Buy, yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, they yeah. Were really, really horrible. Then America was really bad to our yeah, Japanese we're citizens the biggest in terrorists. return. The Japanese like, people were also throughout history horrible. I mean, I just want not that I want to very. Ruthless. I want to measure it like Germans oh, definitely yeah. number one, but <laughs> Japanese people ruthless, but. Everybody forgave them because they had Pokemon. You know? <laughs> yeah. it's like, but I love for a second there, you're like, Germans were not giving up number one spot. We're not going to give it up, but they were bad too. <laughs> but yeah, Pokemon. Oh my gosh. That's See, true. Japanese people, nobody is so, because Japanese people went hard Germans in the Germans should have got on that Pokemon train. Did like, you, what do you guys, what do you guys give to us besides R- Remsteins? Uh, Mercedes Benz, Volkswagen, BMW, Siemens, Bosch. Uh, uh, but again, we're not, we're not driving these cars. No, it's it was true, Jeff, it's you have true. a German no, car. No, listen, but it's not as likable. <laughs> no, think- we would only buy, so like for a while, we would only buy American cars or like my friend's grandpa who was like a Holocaust survivor only bought Lincolns. So there Got is it. that sentiment still alive. You but know bes- what? I have, besides have that, a- but people still like, they'll travel to Germany. Yeah. You know. Again, I'll, I won't tell my family that I'm on this podcast, but I'll allude to it. Yeah. <laughs> One day you break into it. Yeah, like, like, he's sorry. gay before he's coming out yeah. Yeah. on a German <laughs> podcast. God dang. Uh, that's wild. Um, Wait, but let's, let's hear him because I kind of cut him off there. So you were asking him uh, if there was like any still resentment in the family, if there's any. Yeah, what's, what's your education around that? Because it's almost like this. And, and I'll, I'm saying this because I've found myself often in a situation around my many Jewish friends. Also, I was, I was working in New York when I was modeling. I was hired by so many Jewish people to work at their bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs. And you I was did bar hired. bar hype? No, not hype. Okay. No, no, no. I was- um, Just to look gorgeous? I was, yeah. Nice. I was hired as a, as a photographer and they wanted a French photographer because I speak French. So they needed me to do a French accent. I was paid so well in the Hamptons by these Jewish families. Nice. And I was always around this Jewish families, but for the sake of this event, I was Italian. <laughs> like when they asked me where I was from, I found myself in this weird situation where it's like, you know, sometimes I was ashamed of even being German, you know, and they would ask me like, hey, where are you from? And I'd be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a from Italy, <laughs> my mommy. Yeah. Mario, Mario. 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 The, the Mario. Mario. It's actually funny that you say that because I, I once booked a show at a synagogue and I booked um, my friend Reem Eden who is Muslim. Okay. And she was at the show and like, I told them that she was Muslim. Like there was no problem. And she was kind of like nervous. So she told them she was Israeli (laughs) and she went and again, she could pass as Israeli, but it was just really funny that I was like, you didn't have to do that. And she's like, are you sure I didn't have to do that? I'm like, you didn't have to do that. And she did it. Um, Isn't that almost worse? (laughs) <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm is, not shitting on Reem. She did a fantastic job and yeah, she's great yeah. and we love her. Um, <laughs> she's like, but it was just alone. really funny. So I love uh, that you like became Italian. Yeah. Um, they didn't make you do it. They weren't like, you have to be Italian. No, they didn't. Yeah. Also, I was hired. I don't know if they were aware, but just in case. Oh, they weren't aware. I didn't want to bring the mood down. <laughs> yeah. Right. Because you just have all the, the bar mitzvah boy would walk over to you and he'd be like, no. Mario, I haven't been to Germany because I still haven't forgiven the Germans. I haven't forgiven you yeah. personally, Mario. I feel like, and by the way, in, in response to what you should have said to the lady who was, you know, yeah. cutting the onions, personally, I would have just turned to her and been like, well, you're cutting the onions wrong. I asked for cubes. <laughs> and then just walk away. <laughs> like, you're doing it wrong? Just, yeah, yeah. Put her in her place, okay? Oh, <laughs> Make your no. ancestors proud. See, that's what, yeah, that's the confidence I need to like make. But this, it's true, man. It's so, yeah. There's one thing. so ingrained in us. One thing to me that's really funny though is like, okay, so a lot of American, like Jewish American boys will go to the Israeli army and all of them will always say that they're special forces because there's no way of like us going and proving what they are. So like every single American guy that I know who went to Israel and joined the Israeli army for three years is always like special forces. 
Mm. And you're like, were you special forces? You yeah. look like a potato peeler. And he's like, no, yeah. definitely. <laughs> okay. Our trooper, like all this stuff. <laughs> so I feel like with Germans, it's the same thing. Cause I always joke. And like, whenever I meet a German and they're like, oh yeah, my family's German. I'm like, which side? And they're always like, no, 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 no. We were the good ones who hid Jews or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. They're always hiding. Except I once met this one girl who um, was half Argentinian and oh. half German. And I was oh. like, oh, German from which side? And she looked at me and she's like, the other side <laughs> and walked away. And I was like, that's bold. Like that's that felt dark. Bold. Like I was, always, I was always teasing. Like, like, why aren't you like lying? Just say the truth. The other and then when she said the truth, I'm like, I would rather you lie. Like, yeah, don't yeah. tell me. I don't want to know. So dark. Oh no. But I mean, not to make it too heavy in any, but like, here's the truth also in, I, I, I wanted to learn more about my family in my family history of their involvement in the war and the Holocaust. Um, and them all being German, of course they were there. None of them, and again, that's just from what I heard from my aunt in talking to my granddad. My granddad was sent to war to Stalingrad. Oh, wow. When he came back, after when he was wounded, he was um, injured by grenade splinter, was sent to Norway, then came back to Germany years after the war, um, after being in prison there. When he came back, he did not know about the Holocaust happening. Like, it's one of those things where it, oh, the, edu- the, the, the common knowledge about it happened after, but while it was happening, it was not like every German was working at a concentration camp. You know what I mean? It's not this thing that was generally, there was, um, what's it called? There it was, wasn't like McDonald's where like, I worked there in college. No, like, no, no, no. There was boycotting <laughs> against Jewish people that was more public where right. you wouldn't buy from Jewish stores. And that's how it all started in the early 30s. But there wasn't this thing that was selling because everything was controlled by the, by the government. They had propaganda, which was insane. Everything was controlled, every movie. So they didn't advertise the German people as this great, as this wild thing that was happening. It was kind of like orchestrated behind the scenes where some people obviously had direct responsibility in that, but right. the general public didn't know. Even a lot of French people like, didn't know when the war ended. A lot of, it was not a thing that was as publicly known because we didn't have the internet. We didn't have Twitter where somebody's make, making a tweet about what's right. going on and it's real time. No, it's all controlled. Kind of like China now, you know, where it's, yeah. That is interesting to think about. Like, yeah, again, like, because we all know now, we assume everyone Exactly, knew, yeah. But the way yeah. information is delivered now is different. Yeah. While you were saying that, though, and I guess this is a bad thought, but I'm going to share it anyways. Like, I <laughs> think you'd be the person to hide Jews in your attic. Like, I would hope you would hide me in your attic if we were both around. Yeah. But also, like, you're too gorgeous not to wear Hugo Boss. <laughs> so like I feel like you'd have to like you'd the have fashion, to dude, you know I feel conflicted I'd be like, like the fashion is snug, like it's so dude. good it's yeah. so good, oh, right? so good. <laughs> those are some Hugo sexy Buzz. uniforms like, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie like they look <laughs> listen, good I can't say it but you said it so I'm yeah, just so gonna, like, I'm <laughs> just gonna <laughs> yeah no but that's the thing that's the yeah. thing and uh, I, my grandpa he was sent to war not so much his choice either you say not so or not see <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> not so much his choice Right. Because you, if, no, you, if, if you, you got drafted, go, it wasn't your choice, 100%. What are you going to do, man? He was 15, by the way, when he was sent to war. Like my other grandpa was sent to war, he was 15. Like at 15, it's like you grow up with this ideology that's like in school that they, they teach you. It is, and I always say this, it's very hard to escape that, you know? And I'm not oh, justifying, sure. it's, it's horrible on a large scale, but I'm just saying not every German is this like evil monster who hated Jews. Like some of them just complied because they were afraid of the consequences or it also, again, like, I think the movie yeah. Jojo Rabbit did a good job in, like, mm-hmm. pointing out what it was like. But it's also, again, like, it's a, when it becomes a culture, it also becomes normal. Like, the concept of slavery to us right now is so terrible and grotesque. Yeah. Yet, in America, everyone had a slave. Slavery yeah. was normal. And it's yeah. like, how did that happen? It's because when is something is so normal, you kind of 100%. lose your moral It is morals powerful like, is you adapt to what's around you. It is so powerful. And you see that in elections, you see that with, with racism in small towns, you see it with, you know, who people vote for. And this is a weird analogy, but I had the same, I, the same experience in Korea when I was in Seoul, I was modeling, no big deal, but I um, did pretty well actually, multiple big fashion magazines all over, all over Korea. Which ones can we shout out the magazines? Uh, <laughs> get the posters, Charles get the posters. <laughs> But um, when I was modeling there, I, um, I went to this fish market and all my Korean friends, they were like, Mar, you got to try Sangnakji, which is live octopus. Terrifying. And now it is when you're here in LA and you're like, oh, octopus, live octopus, yeah. that's weird. Alive. Listen, when you're in, and maybe that's a fucking German on me, I just wanted to fit in. I just, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just followed the orders. Yeah, they were like, Mario, eat the live octopus. I was like, I no, but 
<laughs> I went to South Korea and they all ate this live octopus and it was so normal. Everybody did it. How'd it taste? It, horrible. But really? oh. I went there and they were like, okay, cool. I'll try this because everybody's doing it in Korea. It's just, yeah. And I didn't even think about it. And it's, it's kind of bad, but the, I even posted a video about the octopus, by the way, attacked me, jumped on my head, bit me in the forehead. It's swell. I went to the hospital. It's a whole thing. But <laughs> you threw him down. You're like, you're like that knife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, but I, I made a video about it. I uploaded it on YouTube and, you know, obviously got a lot of backlash for eating live octopus. So what they do is they cut the octopus. It's dead, but it's still moves because it okay i don't know octopus octopi just do that i guess they just move still so you eat this thing and it still sucks it sucks onto your gums as you're trying to swallow it it's wild so that sounds strange that sounds like did you see indiana jones too uh yeah where they yeah, eat the ago. live monkey brains oh the live monkey <laughs> like, brains that was yeah, always yeah, so yeah, scary yeah. to me i was like people yeah, yeah, do yeah, that yeah, like, yeah well i have not done that yet. <laughs> yeah but, yet yeah but if i'm in a Don't scenario where all exactly. the people around me eat monkey brain yeah, I'm eating monkey brain. I'm eating monkey brain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, monkey brain. yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> that's that, man. That's <laughs> that. <laughs> God damn. So, so if we went from Holocaust to eating live squid and then monkey brains, it's like a good, it's all, very well-rounded podcast. It is all in the under the umbrella of societal norms and pressure people put on you. Well, you know, with our friend here, I think it's beautiful when you can turn to comedy. For example, just a couple minutes ago, you were saying something really deep and heavy, and then he cracked a joke on you. I think that's beautiful about comedy because it, I, I don't know. I'm not really sure how good it does us to just really go back in time and just trash the whole world. It was an awful thing, you know, but yeah. I think it's a, that's a beautiful thing about comedy. You kind of touch on a lot of different things. If I said something fucked up, just let me know. You know? <laughs> First of all, my wife would disagree with you. She hates when I take serious moments and I joke about it. Yeah, so yeah. I'm definitely going to play her this clip. Um, <laughs> but no, I think I'm a white guy, yeah, exactly. <laughs> a white guy approved. Um, so yeah, no, I think like how people survive dark times is through humor. Like how Jews survive is through humor. And I think that that's kind of like the best way to do it where it's like, you're right. If we go and we dig up history, like we're all terrible people yesterday yeah. and then we become better. And I think as human beings, that's part of the thing where it's like, you have to constantly be growing. Yeah. As a society, we're growing. So like we can't forget what happens because if you forget what happens, then history repeats itself. Mm -hmm. But there is the element of like what you're saying where you talk about it, you acknowledge it. Yeah, and you, then you choose kind of like, to make it into yeah. something positive. Joke about it, make humorous. it something tangible also, make it something digestible. Do you think that's why Jewish people are so funny? Because of all the hardship? It's a serious question because Jewish people are known amazing. to be the funniest people. <laughs> huh? I'm saying the best comedians, not going to lie, Jews and black people. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. No, <laughs> it, 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 is, it is commonly known that Jews and black people are the, the funniest people. And I wonder, is that because of the hardship they endured? I definitely think so. It, it kind of like becomes this natural like coping yeah. mechanism. Because Germans are just fucking not funny, you know? <laughs> Is that because we've just been... It was in Indiana Jones, too. They're like, Russian Germans aren't funny. <laughs> how, many famous German, yeah, trying, how many yeah. famous German comedians are there? Well, Mario. there is... Uh, there is... Um, the, uh, and, <laughs> and, uh, there is... Uh, <laughs> there is... Uh, there's like my friend's a comedian funny to me from Germany. Vienna, we had a lot but he's of Jewish. <laughs> you had a lot See, of comedians the in the yeah, 30s, we, then exactly. you got rid of them. We had a lot of funny <laughs> Germans, but then, you know... We got rid of all the funny people. <laughs> it's our fault. Yeah. No, I think it's Germans. We've just been, you know, it's true. That not a lot of hardship as Germans. I mean, yes, with the, I don't know, maybe it's changing now. I, I want to I wanna become the funniest German comedian. That's my goal. Yeah. Done. You're, you're right. <laughs> just say ma mazel tov. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Set yeah. the bar too yeah. high. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, this, I mean, this joke in the real was like, uh, you know. And I better succeed at becoming the funniest German comedian because the last time a German did not achieve its artistic goals, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't go so well. Oh, yeah. you know? Well, yeah. Germans are really serious. Uh, Bachman, like one of his roommates right now is a German kid. By the way, it's Bachman. Bachman. Yeah. <laughs> German kid, he's like 21 years old. He came over here. He does not have a cell phone. He's traveling around. And he told me there's a way in Germany you greet people where you do not want them to talk back to you. It's kind of like saying hello but it's, you don't want to respond. It's hello, move on yourself. Or it? maybe his roommate just doesn't like him. Like, <laughs> he's blaming it on the German culture. Because yeah. Mario's so I nice. Do all the time. Yo, I do that all the time. I blame shit on German culture. 
100%. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. I'm sorry, I hugged your sister for too long. I'm German. I don't know what the <laughs> difference is. You know, I just yeah. I blame everything on being German. It's great actually. I blame yeah. things on fake Jewish holidays. Oh, sorry, I can't make it on Tuesday. It's <laughs> <laughs> Spisselman. It's, it's the <laughs> holiday. You never heard of Spisselman? We always have one Spisselman. So many circumcisions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, right? Uh, Every baby gets circumcised, so it's like, oh, it's circumcision today. Got to yeah, go right. to the ceremony. No, uh. you have a part. You have a. Do you have a? When you get circumcised, by the way, I want to talk. What I want. Let's talk about dicks. <laughs> Because, yeah. you know, I know my oh, audience. Damn. Yeah, a long okay. time. You know, usually we start with dicks, but now we slowly, well, every podcast, we at some point find our way back. <laughs> and if you penis. don't like it, it'll grow on you. <laughs> exactly. <It'll grow. laughs> exactly. Um, when you get circumcised as a Jew-ish person. <laughs> long pause. As a <laughs> jew Yes, continue. I can ask, can ask you more. <laughs> Yes, Where you go? Now it better be a good Sorry. question. There's a Before long before going time. back to the dicks. Is say, is Jew a slur? Because I read about this, and I am every time I say it, it doesn't feel right. And I know it's technically not, but how do you feel about it? So I joke about this on stage. The problem is Jew is a slur and not a slur at the same time. It just depends how you say it. Okay, like okay, what's the like derogatory term for Jew? Um, it's Jew. I'm not gonna say it. No, like, it's like Jew, you, yeah. you like watch videos of Hitler. He doesn't say kike. He doesn't say Jewish people. He says Jew. Mm. So when Hitler says Jew, it's bad. It's a slur. But he said it in when German, right? Jew, he said Jude. He says Juden, but like the yeah. way he said, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. First of all, I, I feel like he said Jew. I feel like he just <laughs> went in like he went full American. He's like Sprachen sind blass about Jew. I'm like, okay. Um, by the way, that was German. I don't know. If you, it's biblical German. You might not understand. Oh, yeah, no. It's just Sprachen sind Sprachen sind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but no. So I, again, it really depends on how you say it. But it's it is a troubling thing where the name of your people, derogatory term for your people, are the same. Yeah. So what do we do about it? I don't know. <laughs> so that's why like Michael Rapport had a thing where if he's I, like, call me Jewish. Okay. Don't say Jew. See, oh yeah, I feel weird. yeah, because that's why I just like made this you, long as awkward yeah. pause before I said that. But I feel like you can you could have one Jew. Like I will give you. You can say it once. Jeff could say it twice. Jeff seems a little more. <laughs> I feel like Jeff will use it wisely. You. What if will I say like, like, it right right yourself? Was like, what's up, my Jew? See, you already wasted yours. <laughs> you know, like, that's, <laughs> that's it. That's all. Now you have no like, more. Like Jeff's like nice holding way. his pocket. Is it like no hard W or something? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's the J. It's the all J? In the J. The J. Jew. Not Jew. Jew. <laughs> you see? Or maybe it's the U. Jew. Jew. <laughs> Jew. Okay. Also, yeah, it's it's the, it, it but it's also based now. on the accent. I feel like <laughs> you should not say Jew. With a German accent, you can't say I'd rather you say Juden. <laughs> I'd rather you say Juden. Everyone else. Juden. 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 Yeah. But you. Yeah. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to put on my Italian accent. Yeah. What's up? I'm do. <laughs> that works. I like yeah. that. That made me feel safe. <laughs> see, dude, I, th I just got to be Italian, man. That's a, maybe that's the solution when I'm around Jewish people. I'm an Italian. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. <laughs> Yeah, makes it less awkward. So back to the penises. Yeah. All right. Peni. Thank you. Peni. Is, is that the plural? I don't know. Okay. It sounds <laughs> right. Cacti, peni. Let's ask. Jeff is probably the most educated person in the room. Jeff, peni or penis? Penises. Penises. Oh penises. 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 That's what I'll go penises. With. Penises. Okay, we'll cool. Check later. Um, so talking about schlongs, you get circumcised. As a Jew, correct? As a Jewish person, correct? I'm, well, yes, I'm right. like, yeah, hoping do now. Yeah. Right. I'm not going to use for like five days after the <laughs> word. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, yes, we get circumcised. What age? Eight days old. Eight days old. God, mm -hmm. okay. Which I feel like that's way better. I think so too. Because it's like out of the way. Yeah. Like I wouldn't want to have to choose now. Because I would choose to be Italian like you. We could both be Italian, like yeah. done. Like I wouldn't be Jewish if they were like, now you have to cut. Well, yourself. in I know in, in in Muslim culture, it's when you're like maybe eight. How many? Do you know how many years old? Eight years old, something like that. Five. Okay, yeah. So like five. Definitely not when you're eight weeks old. Like some some. Oh, he's a baby. Yeah, no. So I I heard that they like traditionally. So the the whole thing was um, uh, Ishmael. Abraham's son got circumcised mm. at 13. Okay. Versus Isaac got circumcised eight days old. Mm. So I feel yeah. like that's kind of the difference in culture. But I feel like you guys are moving now towards doing it as babies, right? Yeah. He said it makes you people. <laughs> I did say you people. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, us people. We're cousins. I can, I can say you people. We're, right? we're close enough. Yeah, right? Can yeah, I say yeah, it? Do yeah. I have one pass one yeah. time? You can say anything <laughs> um, here. I get one. Um, yeah, no. So I think like it definitely makes more sense to do it as a baby because babies also heal quick mm, like a lot of like zombie, people don't know this a lot skin. oh my god yeah 
<laughs> like a lot of people don't don't know that like so my mother's a doula so she deals like she's a doula lactation consultant like all stuff to do with like birth and babies mm -hmm. a lot of babies will break their nose on the way out and it heals within a couple days damn well, like again your nose will take weeks to heal like days whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're, pretty oh you're quick a quick healer yeah, 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 yeah. next day just yeah. done um, <laughs> really because I'm still not healed from you calling me a Jew six <laughs> times <laughs> um, but yeah so I feel like if you do it as a baby like it it heals quick okay the baby okay. doesn't remember yeah well I mean I don't think I got circumcised at 19 why <laughs> why <laughs> on purpose I wanted to be more Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I knew I would find a horror. I can but I relate to marry. more to my Jewish friends. You know, now I have like a dreidel here. I'm yeah, like, Mazel Tov, you know? Um, it, I thought that dreidel was a trap. I thought if I grabbed it, like a net would fall down. So I was like, <laughs> I'm glad to see that it's a Jewish safe. trap. No, no, it's not. It's the real dreidel. I love, I love dreidels. Um, big fan. Again, <clears throat> get, my, one of my Jewish friends gave it to me. It's actually a true story. Yeah. Um, so what's his name? Uh, Adam. What's his Hebrew name? Shalom. What's his father's Shabbat Hebrew name? Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> I've seen this guy. So <laughs> yeah, so it's true. Okay. If, if Jeff says it's real, he's real, then he's real. That's the only Jewish person I've seen here, though. Because I've, yeah. I've <laughs> never heard of or met an Adam think in my life before. So I don't know what you're talking about. Never. <laughs> exactly. Um, no, I got circumcised. The truth is that I was actually, I was close with one of my best friends. She was, she I guess still is Muslim. She's Turkish. And she told me about how when her brother got circumcised, he had this whole party. It's, this, it's called a sugar fest or something like that in, in Turkish culture, okay. where when you get circumcised, rightfully so, because you, you know you're healing. It's, it's not a nice thing to experience. I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> they get gifts and they get desserts and a lot of attention. And I love attention. <laughs> so I was like, you know, let me, I thought about getting circumcised. It was on the table. She told me also if I wanted to marry a, a Turkish girl, I would have to get circumcised, you know? So I was like, you know what? I looked into it and I was like, okay, being circumcised, it's cleaner. It makes you last longer in bed. And I was kind of struggling with that. I'll be fully honest with you. The I cleaner quick. part? Uh, not yeah. the clean. I had hygiene anxiety sometimes. And it's full, not a bit. It's fully true. I sometimes would be afraid that I would have sex with somebody, especially oral sex, and I wouldn't be as fresh. Because I was known for being a very fresh kid and I didn't want to jeopardize that reputation. Yeah, Jews were known for being fresh. Exactly. Bed. That's literally, fresh. Google Jews, the first thing that comes up, not running Hollywood or controlling the media, it's fresh. Fresh, <laughs> fresh in the bedroom. So I did it so I could last longer in bed. That's the main reason I did it for. Because nice. I would come quick. Like Are you serious? Seconds. How to yeah. And did it work? It, yeah, man. I would, I mean. Let's ask Jeff, did it work? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think you added like a few seconds. What? Well, I mean, yeah. it would still work because it's like I, I would last, like I was literally first couple of times I had sex, I came so lightning fast, quick. It was embarrassing. It was like, dude, it was like if the most efficient sex ever. <laughs> you know, I was just in and out. But I was insecure about that. So then I got circumcised and now I'm fucking, you know. Do you regret it? 45 seconds now, crushing it, <laughs> destroying just annihilating <laughs> yeah by the way who is this turkish girl because i think she like should be hired to represent circumcision because yeah. i feel like a lot of times when i make circumcision jokes people are like oh that's gross like oh it's barbarism and like whatever and i'm like no no no. speak to this turkish girl like she <laughs> will sell good. you on it it's yeah. fresh <laughs> ask mario it's fresh and whatever her name is she, yeah. she's great yeah she's great yeah her name is gizem shout out yeah she didn't force me to i'm just saying like she just told me about it so i was kind of hooked on it and i love um, how you got circumcised to marry a turkish girl Yes. And then they were like, uh, too German for us. You yeah. found a Jewish girl. <laughs> yeah, I found a Jewish girl, exactly. <laughs> but still needed to be circumcised, maybe. So that works. If you were to marry, I mean, you you are all that, right? But like, if, okay, so let's put it that way. If you were, okay, you're also a man, but like, you know, if, same thing. If you were to I was marry, a turtle. If, <laughs> yes. <laughs> or are you just trying to say Jew and you can't get it out? I'm not sure what's going no. on right now. No, so if you were gonna marry somebody as a Jewish person, fuck. <laughs> would they have to be circumcised is that a thing is that a requirement a girl no <laughs> no that's Not a girl. that's no. barbaric a dude oh talking about okay. saying, i have so okay. many follow-up questions about that okay first of all okay. hypothetically yes. you are a jewish woman okay yes practicing orthodox jew all right could you marry first of all somebody who's not jewish and then also if so would they have to be circumcised so there's definitely an element of it being frowned upon. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Cause it's, it's also, it's one of those things where it's like kind of, so there's two things. There's keeping the culture alive. So the culture, Jewish culture goes through women. So yeah. technically a, a Jewish woman marrying a non-Jew is not as big a deal because technically they're still completely Jewish according to everyone. Cause some people say it goes going to the, yes, the dad uh, or the mom, but everyone agrees. Like if your mom's Jewish, everyone agrees you're Jewish. Got if it. only yeah. your dad's Jewish, then there's like kind of questionable area. Mm. Um, but it's also, again, like most Jewish people, like anybody who's Orthodox, like I would only want to marry a Jewish person because I want to keep the culture and faith alive. And also like, I want to raise my kids Jewish. So if yeah. I marry somebody who's Catholic, then yeah. there's just that conflict of interest where it's like, which school do we send the kids to? What do we teach them? Sure, you know, yeah, like, that makes is sense. Santa Claus real? Yeah. All of these, you know, <laughs> yeah. important questions. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I feel like once you're like breaking the rule and marrying somebody who's not Jewish, the circumcision part doesn't matter. It's not like, Got it. it's not like I'm marrying someone who's not Jewish, but they seem Jewish. Got like, it, okay. But they're it. a comedian. Like, yeah, you know. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I'm so if anything, like if I, was a, if I was an Orthodox Jewish woman, yeah, and I was looking to marry a non-Jew. I'd want them to be uncircumcised. Like the second you're going, you like go all the way. Like to me, the most shocking thing is when somebody like, like I, a Jew that I know marries somebody or is dating somebody who's not Jewish, but like looks Jewish and acts Jewish and is like neurotic and everything. Cause I'm like, yeah. I'm like you're, you're going into like the Shiksa pool and getting nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I was an Orthodox Jewish woman, I would want to marry Jeff. Like, look at Jeff. He's gorgeous. Yeah. I'm only saying that because you're already married. I don't want to, you know, I Jeff, know, are you married? Usually, I feel kind of pissed about this. I just want to <laughs> say this real quick because usually, Menachem, I feel like we have a healthy amount of sexual tension when we speak and it's just the two of us, yeah. you know, and you make a lot of gay jokes and I like it. <laughs> and then once Jeff shows up, I, it's all, I'm invisible. Well, okay. I'm just going to make that observation real quick. We're going to get back to but all you, that. But, but you're yeah. making it hard for me because right on the way in, you introduced me to your wife. Well, she's not in the she room. She mentions that she's your wife. You mentioned that you're her wife. Like it felt very much like you're <laughs> off the table and I can't joke. And then you introduce your co-host, this gorgeous, just slab of meat. And I'm like, of course, slab of meat. I'm going to be all up in that. <laughs> I get it. We have a it. thing. We have a I thing. Get it. It's all your okay. swastika. Yeah. How does, exactly. <laughs> I got to do something about that, man. I got to just put like a No, the swastika is kind of hotter. Not going to lie. That kind of brings me back. I'm a little like, ugh. Maybe I should get a tattoo beneath it. That's not a swastika. Like a disclaimer. <laughs> 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 like a dis well, you do have the maybe, crossed out thing here. You maybe can just... in Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> in Hebrew. Oh. <laughs> At what point after oh you got that, were you looking in the mirror like a couple weeks later? I think that looks a little. <laughs> <laughs> Honest question. Oh. Honest question. <laughs> Honest answers. Did you ever take a Sharpie and make it a full swastika just to see if it looked like a swastika? Just to like, are, I'm not sure if it does and just Honest filled it in. Answer. Honest. Yeah. Never. No, okay, thank <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Okay, Never. wow. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how do Jewish people feel about gay people? Is it in, in, in cause I don't know. I think most religions would not, I don't know if there's any religion that supports the concept of homosexuality. What about, I've never heard anything in terms of when, when it comes to Jewish okay. people. So according to Judaism, very quick, mm -hmm. it's an interesting thing. So two guys together is a sin according to the Torah. Mm -hmm. Two girls together is not a sin according to the Torah. <laughs> Dope. Hey, um, so again, there's like- Straight guys who yeah. fucking- Le double, like, fucking <laughs> Lesbians is gray area. Being gay is a sin. Mm -hmm. But here's what we hold, like at least we're my We're going to clip that, by the way. We're just, just going to clip it and, and then put the clip up. Just gonna, being gay is a sin. sin. <laughs> End of clip. <laughs> End of clip. Finally, I'd get a little bit of fame. Yeah. <laughs> um, get some headlines. But so what's interesting is like, obviously certain sects that are like a little bit more stricter or closed-minded would be, you know, kind of like more against it. Yeah. My sect, which is Chabad, what we kind of hold is everyone sins. Mm -hmm. No one's perfect. Yeah. Whether, you know, like, your sin might be you're mean to people, whatever it is. So therefore you can't judge someone else. So I feel like definitely like the sect that I'm a part of has been the most open-minded in history be like for Judaism saying that they can kind of like fully be functioning members of so society. So wait, that's the most open-minded in history? Yeah. But it's still a sin. So if somebody though openly say express love to another man, that would not be welcome in in temple, for example, like there's no, but I think in temple, like there's no portrayals of affection at all. Right. It, yeah. And yeah, I'm saying like, yeah. you're the I'm saying men and women are kept at, at separate. Also, exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. We're yeah, not yeah, making yeah, out. Yeah. So yeah, Mario, if you came yeah. to synagogue, we couldn't make out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Got one in. <laughs> That's what you're asking. The one reason you have this podcast. I was going to reason my way to synagogue. Good thing this isn't a yeah. synagogue. Yeah. 
<laughs> we're back. We're exactly. back. Yes. We have he answered this answer. like a president too. He no, that was great. That was like, good. Yeah, you did it. You did well. Yeah. Wait, which you president? should be the head. <laughs> <laughs> you should be the head. You should be the head. The head. Super rabbi. rabbi. The super yes. rabbi. Yeah. <laughs> Just a rabbi with a cape. Like right. It. That'd be dope. <laughs> that'd be that'd amazing. Be dope. Yeah. If you were not Jewish, would you still want to be circumcised, or would you want to have a little extra good half question. inch and eater? <laughs> It's a little hoodie. Yeah. I, little, trade, trade in a, little, I traded my hoodie for a hat. A little bit. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but uh, what's funny is like, I never thought about it because I was like circumcised. Like, here's what's funny. And this is like, this is real. When I heard about circumcision, I was like five, six years old. I went home after school that day. I went to the bathroom, locked the door, pulled my pants down and like looked at my penis. Mm. And I didn't notice anything missing. Like I was true. Like I was like, what did they cut? Yeah. Like this looks <laughs> fine. So like this funny. looks like how a penis is supposed to look. Man. Again, at six, that was the only penis I had seen. Maybe one of my brothers You've like in the bath or whatever. At six years old, you saw just a bunch of penises. You were just <laughs> so out many. there like he's, checking out the peeps. He's from just Germany. peeping. I'm from, <laughs> from Germany. Germany. Okay, it's no, a different no, culture. No, it's, it's actually true. You know how many dicks I've seen? <laughs> <laughs> I'm straight, but I've seen. So many, I hope people clip this. <laughs> this is right. This is a clip. No, I, I have seen so many penis, like my friend, my uncles, my dad, my soccer Your practice. Uncles, do you want to talk dad's. about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. In okay. America, that's a different story. No, in Germany, it's all cool. We're, we're dope. We have like, um, we have these FKK beaches. It's like, a, it's called Freikörperkultur. Which um, I shouldn't say like that. Yeah, sorry, this is very scary. Scary. <laughs> I know. Every time I speak German, yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm like um, it's it's basically a nudist beach, and I would go there with my mom always, and everybody was naked. I've seen countless penises. You know, I played soccer naked with my best friend when I was like five years old, and we played soccer naked. There's a bunch of us, and we played naked. naked. Soccer seems inefficient. Like did it inefficient? Sorry, it was not so much that the the soccer was kind of like a beard it was like a you know uh, to to hide the, the true intention of it which is to see it's gonna sound a little weird it just is so funny watching my friend playing soccer and running around and seeing his penis flopping up and down it's a pretty ballsy move that was <laughs> <laughs> he's got the puns ready loaded to me that was some of my favorite moments of my childhood and I wouldn't change it for anything. Does your wife know that some of your favorite yes. childhood memories are you seeing your friend's penis flop? No, but listen. I we'll think tell that at your wedding. So, <laughs> yeah. the Americans are so weird about this shit. In Europe, this is, a, this is just innocence. It's childlike innocence and it's beautiful because there was no societal norms telling us what we can and can't do. We all, I know you fucking, would, you would love to jump rope naked with me. You know, it'd be fun for us. You know, jumping yeah, rope. Yeah, but I would have the like, wrong intentions in mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it wouldn't be innocent child. Um, um, but it's like this, we, we lose it because society makes this thing so weird and nudity. And I think it's such a part of life. And there is a beauty about that. And you don't judge it unless you try. So let's try. Kind of yes, kind of no. But it's like, okay, have you guys swam naked? Yeah. yeah. I don't like swimming naked. No, why? Because like when I'm swimming, I feel like my penis is like an udder. And I'm like kind of moving and it's like, it's hard. Like First of all, how big is your penis? For I you guess to maybe that it's like the aerodynamics <laughs> of your it's swimming. It's not aerodynamically Jesus correct. Christ. Your penis just like oh. sitting there like a little, like, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't I like it. you with your penis just like, like a boat with one of the, what's it called? Like the key on the second. Like, 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 <laughs> like an anchor. It's just like it happens to get caught on the coral reef like, and yeah, you're like, <laughs> shit. Like, yeah. Wake up down. Get stuck. Oh no. We're also not your typical friends. I don't know everybody's swimming with their friend naked, you know, especially not people from Tennessee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, it's like, right. Brooklyn. There's no beaches, yeah. We weren't just like in Brooklyn, just like chasing rats in alleyways, just naked. <laughs> like, yeah, you're right. But Brooklyn right. doesn't lend itself. Cause I grew up in, like with nature, you know, right. It's like beautiful. And nobody's there. Nobody's there to witness you. Do How that. old were you when you saw your first heroin needle on the street? Um, 23 years old Dang. in LA. <laughs> wow. Jeff, how about yeah. you? Do they have heroin needles just in Tennessee? No, I think it was probably here. Nice. New York. Cause yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. Like you see the because craziest maybe that's nastiest why, yeah. stuff on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I wouldn't want to walk. If I walked around naked in New York, I'd step on broken glass. Like I'd have diseases. Damn. 100%. Yeah, I know, you know, that's the difference. Yeah. And I can't walk around naked with like sneakers. <sighs> yeah. Like, that would look weird. 
I feel like that would ruin the yeah, childhood right. innocence. Yeah. Just yeah. like because part of it is being connected to nature, being grounded, and yeah. you know. When you guys played soccer, did you have cleats on when you were naked? Uh, no, okay. no, probably just barefoot. I feel nice. like, yeah. How did that come up? But we were shirt cocking, so like we had a shirt on and then just like bottoms. This is actually a true story. I'm not. I know this is kind of funny for you guys, but this is just my childhood. <laughs> yeah. 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 What what instigated that? Were you just you know sitting around with? You know show? what? Childhood That's trauma. That's the fucking thing. You guys, you guys are trying to judge this stuff. It's just, just it's no. It. Shut up. It's beautiful. It's like th- th- this. There is no societal norms, and we as humans sometimes it feels freeing to jump around and then everything like flops. It's nice. Okay. And that's how it started. Okay. It started. It's not a sexual thing, you know. I'm not gay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a sexual thing. It was just this pure, innocent exploration of our bodies, and I love how disconnected from societal norms we were. And that, that, <gasps> that is what Nirvana is. That freedom. I want that again. The band. No. The. The concept, nice. The concept, yeah. <laughs> just checking, I don't know. We're going back to like, the Remstein Nirvana thing. Is based on, yeah. But no, Nirvana, also the album cover, little baby, naked, floating, swimming. <laughs> That's right. There you go. <laughs> right. There you go. Was that you? Was that you and your friends? Is that a- <laughs> Exactly. This is my exactly, exactly, exactly. hey. favorite album. Favorite album, yeah. Damn. So how, how long is your schlong long right now? How long? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I felt like a felt like a flashback to my I'm old YouTube like, videos. It's been a minute since that. <laughs> I'm curious too after his anchor story. No, I know, you're trying to like Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't need the extra half inch <laughs> half inch thing. So yeah. just like you never drew in the rest of your swastika. Yeah. I never measured. But now I kind of how about this? We'll do it at the same time. How so oh, I'll measure impossible. my pee and you'll draw on the swastika and see if it looks like a swastika. Trying to get me yeah. He's trying to fucking, yeah. You've never Wait. measured your penis. How is that possible? I measure every week. <laughs> every, just to make sure it didn't change. You're like, still got it. Wait, wait, I have a, like, you know, with, 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 with my fiance, we have a little board on the door. You know, we have like, just keep, <laughs> we keep, there's hope it's actually, it's getting smaller. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. It's getting smaller. No. Je- Jeff, are you circumcised? Yes. Got it. Okay, so we're all cut. Yeah. yeah. And you said at five, so we're all okay. Nice. I think. Do you have a ruler he could use real quick? Do we have? Should I? Should I? Should I whip it out? Are we going <laughs> to put it on the podcast? Do we pause this real quick? <laughs> all right. So what did it say? What the ruler? Um, it, <laughs> twelve inches. Twelve. Twelve, 12, 12 inches. Full, full, congrats, yeah, full yeah. foot. Yeah. Congrats, just a. Congrats. Right. So I'll tell you a very very quick funny story. So what happens is my son gets circumcised. And there's the party, so we don't have like fancy sweet treats. It's like a bagel themed party. So if you like bagels, course, it's yeah, like yeah. a pretty, it's a pretty yeah. good party. So everyone's <laughs> eating bagels, lox are doing their thing. And the mohel, which is the rabbi who circumcises, so he comes over to me and he was like, Mazel Tov, congratulations. And he like shakes my hand and hands me something. No. And I look, no. and it's like a bloodied thing that's wrapped in like um, a paper towel. No. And I look at him, I was like, What's this? And he's was like, it in like a box? Like how big? No, 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 just a little like, he kind of did it as if it was like a drug deal. Like as if he had cash in his hand, he like slips it to me. I'm like, what? what? Shut the fuck and up. And he's like, he's like, it's your, it's your son's foreskin. I'm like, why are you giving this Oh, it's this your to fun me? son's foreskin. Yeah, I'm like, why would I want this? Oh my God. And he's like, you're supposed to bury it under a tree. It's like good luck and like good omens to bury it under a tree. That is and I'm kind of plan. like, okay, like super traumatized that I have like my son's foreskin bloodied and wrapped in a paper towel. So I go and I had like a lamp that had like a little dish attached to it. So I go and I put the tissue there and I'm like, I'll deal with it later. Go to sleep. Somebody the next stole morning it. I had to run to the, somebody stole it. <laughs> uh, the next morning I go to the grocery store to like get some stuff. I come back to the house to bury the foreskin and my room is spotless and it's gone. And I like run downstairs. I'm like, has anyone seen, like who cleaned my room? And my mom, who was in town was like so nice. She decided to clean my own room. And she's like, oh yeah, I saw that. I just threw it out. And I'm like, that's my son's foreskin. Oh my God. And she's like, and I'm like, and you're supposed to bury it. And she's like, oh shit, I forgot. Like, what am I supposed to do? So we then run. Cause I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, what if like he has bad luck forever because I didn't bury his foreskin yeah. and like I ruined it. And so we start going through the garbage, but it's not just regular garbage. Like we had a bagel theme party. So it's like bagel remnants party. Oh, like, no. and we're tearing through the garbage Dude. in like studio city in a nice neighborhood. Like people are walking by, like, why are these weird, like Jewish gremlins, like running through their garbage? And then finally, thank God we found it. 
oh and then I buried it. Oh my god! And then <laughs> so you buried it. So you were like, "That's the most Jewish tree. thing I've ever heard." You were going oh, through right. bagels <laughs> to find a foreskin. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it doesn't get more Jewish than that, dude. And that is this propaganda. So, and then you dug a hole to bury the foreskin. And then I dug a little hole. Maybe and that's and what the, the Jewish tunnels are. It's just, <laughs> maybe there's an explanation. They're foreskin and Maybe tunnels. there's foreskin an explanation tunnels. for this whole thing. Oh my god! Yeah. Ah. <sighs> I mean, not to get too topical, but do, do, do you know what's going on with the tunnels? Does anybody know? Oh, wait, by the way, the Brooklyn tunnels yeah. or the Hamas tunnels? Brooklyn tunnels? <laughs> so, <laughs> same thing, same team, same excavators. <laughs> um, no, so, okay. The Brooklyn tunnels, it's the most ridiculous thing because it's not really a big deal and people made it into a big deal. Okay. Basically what it is was... <laughs> a guy lost his foreskin. <laughs> okay. Got to gotta find it. Um, <laughs> essentially, it was like, there's this synagogue that they wanted to like renovate and make it bigger and nicer. Okay. But there's like an ownership dispute. Cause like there was this rabbi who was in charge. He passed away. He didn't like fully say who was in charge. These two parties kind of share control and they don't get along. So because of that, no one makes the decision to do it to like actually fix it. Okay. And there was like a building next to it that was like kind of condemned that they owned that they were planning on like fixing and eventually extending it to. And essentially you had these like young Orthodox guys who are just like f it we're gonna do it and they just like in middle of the night started breaking the wall in between the two buildings to extend the synagogue and make it better so they just illegally started smashing walls and like kind of like again what the tunnel is it's literally just to connect the two buildings that that are owned by the same synagogue so it's not a big Pretty deal. Heavy. It's just like the timing of it was hilarious it was, it with was, all the Israel tunnel stuff going on, the Gaza sure, tunnel. Sure. And I mean, then this, it was just look, like crazy. That's what I mean. You know, for it's, it, that's also somebody probably saw you going through the bagels <laughs> and the trash and they probably made up some conspiracy theories. as well. We don't know what happened, but it, it is, maybe there's an explanation for everything. You know, <laughs> maybe it's just somebody uh, losing their foreskin. Wild. <laughs> like Jews, we don't control the weather. But we want to. Yeah. <laughs> like we're actively trying to. We're working on the science. We're close, Every but we day, don't yeah. yet control oh the weather. Oh my God. Yeah. Damn, son. Right? I think I think we covered it all, man. We talked about tunnels, dicks a little bit, German guilt. Thank you so much. I think this this went as well as it could have. You know? I was very nervous for a second there. Yeah. But every time you basically stared into blankly and you didn't smile. I was like, oh, no, 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 What did I say? Nine, 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 nine. But I like, thank you for not murdering me. No, I got you. I feel like I had to say that. Well, it's not over yet. I'm happy that that Jeff was here as the mediator and moderator between this. Yeah, he's more airy looking than me. Look at this guy. He looks more German than me. He is, but he doesn't sound it. He sounds safe. I don't sound German. Sure. <laughs> Anything you say, what sir, do you just mean? don't hurt me. God damn it! Do you really think I sound that German? Fuck! I now I heard. I love it, it. now. You did you I'm not think I sound as that German? <laughs> I was like, when I sound angry, I sound German. But this is not the good point to prove my point now. But what I'm saying is, I'm usually not that German. There's the Nazi symbol on your arm. There's literally what it is, yeah. partial swasts. All right, guys. Um. Make sure to follow Menachem. Check him out um, every Thursday at the Laugh Factory. Um, Menachem Silverstein. Menachem Silverstein. If you can spell Menachem, I deserve a follow. That's exactly, how it works. Exactly right. Try it. If you, if you put it on Instagram and you spell it right, I deserve a follow. Exactly. It does. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much. Stay on Central. New episodes every single Wednesday. We love you. Peace out. Yeah. yeah.